being able to talk with them will give us a good sense of who the players are, how to get this pushed a little bit further, how to make it move a little bit faster. Do you have ID with you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. We're on Facebook Live. How are you doing today, sir? Thank you. We are trying to affect positive change as quickly as possible for veterans. Uh, veterans with invisible injuries. This is kind of the, the early stages and it'll be interesting to be a part of it because it's only something that we sort of get a glimpse at normally. You'll be hearing a lot more about the PAUSE Act in the weeks to come, especially how you can help. We've posted the bill and a summary on our WUSA 9 app and website. Well, guys, cute. Well, if you're headed to the Maryland shore, it might take a little longer tonight. All the eastbound lanes on Highway 90 Oh, they're closed right now. The closure begins right at the highway's intersection with Racetrack Road. Crews are repairing concrete out there on the road. Now there is a detour in place. We're going to take you a little closer. You're going to head south down Racetrack Road here till you intersect with 50 and you'll be able to get to the shore from there. Highway 90 should reopen early tomorrow morning. None of this is affecting traffic heading westbound. All right, here's Tenacious Topper with his full first alert forecast top. All right, Deb, we'll talk about uh, June. Uh, it's kind of interesting that we start the month. Our average high is 81 and 62, but by the time we close the month, it's pretty much summer, 87 and 70 for the averages. Average precip, a little over three inches downtown, a little over four inches at Dulles. Our highest temp ever recorded in June, 104. Our lowest temp, 43. Uh, more June facts on my Facebook page if you're interested. And in terms of May, we wrapped the book up in May, the fifth wettest May at Dulles, 8.49 inches of rain fell. All right, our three degree guarantee. I was thinking we might have a bullseye today. We went 84, ah, it was 85, just one off. I'm gonna go 84 tomorrow, though I'm a little bit worried because some of the guidance is coming in now, 85, 86, but we'll keep it 84 for Friday. Right now, 73, dew point still 50, very comfortable air mass. Winds have calmed down, uh, humidity only 44%. That's pretty low for this time of night. So bus stop temps, nice, 54 to 74, just about perfect. A gorgeous Friday, great hair day. That includes uh, tomorrow night if you have a date. Uh, staying warm through the weekend. Saturday looks great. Sunday looks okay, but we are tracking afternoon and evening thunderstorms. If we're lucky, they'll hold off until evening. We'll at least have the first half of the Sunday. 84 on Friday. 81 Saturday, mid 80s on Sunday and Monday and back to the low 80s on Tuesday. And it does appear we're looking at a kind of a stormy start uh, for the work week next week. In the meantime, six o'clock tomorrow morning, just comfortable. 54, clear as a bell in Manassas, 54 in Frederick, 54 in Gaithersburg, probably 53 up in Damascus and 62 downtown. And by 9 30, 10 o'clock, we're still in the upper 60s to around 70 full sun. By lunchtime, I think we'll be closer to 80. Again, numbers, these numbers running just a little bit low. Not quite so sure what future cast is running low because we're going to be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. By 6 o'clock, you're heading home. Perfect. 78 in Leesburg, 76 in Manassas. Nice northwest wind tomorrow night. If you're out, temperatures in the 60s already. 63 in Gaithersburg. So comfortably cool tomorrow night by 10 o'clock, but not, not cold enough or cool enough where you need a sweater or anything like that. So overnight. Clear and cool. Let's rest the AC. Low temperatures 54 to 64 and winds have pretty much uh, diminished and gone light. So on the day planner, we have 60s to start, low 60s downtown. We're up to 71 by 9 o'clock. We're up to 79, almost 80. I think we'll be 80, 81 by 1 o'clock. Now on Saturday, great day. 81, make your plans. And even Sunday, you're okay. I mean, some storms are coming in late. Could be here as early as 3 p.m. That'd be worst case scenario. Best case scenario would be 6 or 7 p.m. and still warm. 85. Next seven days. Here's our stormy Monday. Uh, 84. No, no pun intended. They're not not uh, quoting songs. 81 on Tuesday. I got a drop, but it's a nice day. Showers on Wednesday late, but we're cooler now. We're back in the 70s and maybe a shower on Thursday. Don't plan around that. Temperatures again in the upper 70s. Now three things that have happened since you left work. Cops in North Carolina are tracking these evil Knievel wannabes. Viral video showing them taking turns jumping over a collapsed bridge. Now that gap that they're clearing there, yeah, it's a gut churning 72 feet. Dukes of Hazard style. Well, how do you get revenge on a 7-Eleven? You open a 612 across the street. A South Boston man did just that. He once ran a 7-Eleven, but got fed up with company orders. Gotta love a good food fight. Hope the Slurpees are just as good. <laughs> a crew is repainting the water.